Oh, hi. It's great to see you. I'm just heading outside. It's winter time and it's cold outside. So I'm going to put on my jacket and zip it up. And then put on my hat that a friend knitted for me. My shoes slip right on. Right foot. Left foot. And we're all set. Let's head outside. It's nature time. Let's see what we can find. I love being outside. What should we find today? I have an idea. Have you met my good friend Garbanzo? You haven't? Well, then we should see what he's up to today. Come on. Garbanzo, are you home? Hello, Mr. Michael. Hi, Garbanzo. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. I saw the cutest, fluffiest animal playing outside my window this morning. Oh, wow. It's so fun when you can observe nature. What kind of animal was it? It was, uh, actually, I don't know what to call it. I've never seen an animal like it before. Oh, a mystery. Maybe I can help. Can you tell me what the animal looks like? Well, it was little and gray, and it was really furry like me. Also, it had a big, floofy tail. Hmm, that sounds like a squirrel. Squirrel, squirrel. That's a funny word. I really want to show you my new squirrel friend. Oh, I have an idea. Let's go on an adventure to find the squirrel. All right, let's go. Yeah. Come on, Mr. Michael. Wait, uh, where do we start? Hmm. Did you know that some trees grow nuts like acorns? Squirrels love to eat lots of acorns. I think we can find the squirrel if we find a tree with lots of acorns. Sprouting beans, you're right. I remember the squirrel was eating a nut just like that. I didn't know it was called an acorn. Let's follow this trail of acorns and maybe we'll find the squirrel. Well, it looks like that's the end of the trail. Falling fiddlesticks. We're right back where we started. We'll never figure out which tree these acorns come from. Now's no time to give up. We just need to think. Hmm. I've got it. If acorns won't work, maybe we can use a different clue. A different clue? Like what? Well, acorns grow on trees called oak trees. And the leaves of oak trees look like this. I'm curious. Maybe we can find a tree with a leaf shaped like this. Yes, yes, I'm curious too. Wait, what does curious mean? That's a good question. Being curious means you want to figure something out. Curious me, curious you. Together we can learn something new. Curious. That sounds just like me. Let's find an oak leaf and maybe we can find the squirrel. All right. Let's get started by collecting different leaves from the ground and then we can see if any of them match this shape. I'm very good at collecting things. You stay right here and count to five. I'll be back super fast with a leaf collection. Okay. One. 
two, three, four, five. Wow, Garbanzo, you really are fast. I told you so. Let's see what you got. Get those leaves right there. Let me spread them out for you. What a neat collection. I never knew there were so many different leaf shapes. That's right. Each different type of tree has a different shape of leaf. Do you see any shapes here that match our picture? Not this one. Not this one either. Oh, look at this leaf. It's just like the leaf in the picture. Good job. You did it, Garbanzo. You found an oak leaf. And I remember where I found it, too. It was right over there. All right, let's go check it out. Yep, this looks like the right spot. This leaf matches the leaf in our picture, and there are acorns all over the ground. And look, there's the squirrel. And just look at that floofy tail. That's right, there is a squirrel over there. We found it. Do you want to know something else about squirrels and acorns? Yeah. Squirrels like to bury acorns when there are too many acorns to eat all at once. Oh, can eating too many acorns give a squirrel a tummy ache? Something like that. Squirrels like to bury acorns to save them for later when they're really hungry. But sometimes those buried acorns start to turn into oak trees. That's how whole forests of oak trees get started. Wow, this little animal helped grow that huge tree. Yeah, that's right. Squirrels are pretty special. I'm so happy we got to see this special squirrel together. Curious me, curious you. Together we can learn something new. Well, the sun is setting and it's time for me to go. Thanks so much for inviting me on this wonderful adventure, Garbanzo. You're welcome, Mr. Michael. I had so much fun. Bye-bye. All right, see you next time. Oh, wow. What a fun adventure. I love going outside. Now that we're back inside, it's time for us to take off our shoes. Ooh, put those right there. Take off this jacket, because it's nice and warm inside. Fold that up over here. Take off this warm hat. <sighs> Did you know that different types of trees have different shapes of leaves? That's right. Next time you go outside, play a game. Look on the ground for different shapes of leaves and try and match them to the leaves in the trees above you. You can even ask a grown-up to help to look up some of the names of the trees. Curious me, curious you, together we can learn something new. Thanks so much for coming today. It was great to see you. Bye-bye. Oh, look at your thirsty little plants. Let's give you some water.